you stood out in a stack of resumes, finessed your way through grueling interviews, and aced the work sample. Now comes the really tough part, your first week on the job. Many employers consider the initial weeks and months of employment a trial period, which makes putting your best foot forward that much more important. But don't panic. You can shine in your first week and set the tone for your future career with a few simple actions as you get started. Prove to your boss that they made the right decision and make sure your coworkers see your best qualities by following six tips for success. First, say hello to your coworkers. As you say hello, expand your circle beyond your team. Introduce yourself to people outside of your department and up and down the ladder. And have an elevator pitch ready to take your introduction beyond a handshake. An elevator pitch should include your name, your role, and why you joined the team, or why you're excited to be here. Your why helps you build connections with others. For example, you might say, Hi, I'm Sarah, and I just joined the sales team. I'm excited to learn about our innovative approach to converting leads. With your elevator pitch ready, the next tip is to set yourself up for success. First, look the part. Get the basics on the dress code before you arrive and think through what's practical for your role. Then, organize your physical workspace, making sure your tools are organized and your workspace is free from clutter. And finally, organize your virtual workspace. Those emails from IT and HR include setup tools and instructions that could be time sensitive. You can save yourself trouble by choosing steel toed boots over tennis shoes or by ordering supplies you need to get organized. Prioritizing invitations from IT and HR will ensure you don't miss something important. The third tip for success in the first week is to learn from others. Offer to help, take notes, and seek out top performers for advice. Just be careful to do more listening than talking. There'll be plenty of time to share your knowledge and experience later. One of the best ways to learn from others is to seek a mentor. The fourth tip, a mentor is a person who agrees to invest time in your professional development. Whether they are a peer or someone who's further up the ladder, a mentor can help you excel. They dedicate one-on-one -on -one time to advocate for your career growth challenge you with new opportunities, and help you learn the ropes at your new company. Another helpful strategy for your first week is to learn your company's culture. That means understanding the norms, beliefs, and values that drive the organization. Get a handle on company culture by observing how people do things. When you watch and learn, everything from taking breaks to the client service approach to the tools you use will be more clear. Also, ask questions, especially when you need to clarify what you've observed. To be sure you understand what your company values most, you might ask questions like, what are our customers' pain points and how do I help resolve them? Or, I notice people arrive early for meetings. Is timeliness highly valued here? Sometimes, a company has clearly defined its culture, but more often, Many aspects of a workplace culture remain unspoken. Observing your coworkers and asking questions will help you fit in, which will improve your odds of success in a new environment. The last tip is to take time to understand your manager's expectations. Schedule a meeting early on to establish communication preferences and review evaluation practices. To establish communication preferences, Ask about your boss's style. Do they prefer weekly meetings or email updates? How and how often do they set and track goals? Then, review evaluation practices. For example, you may ask what tools or metrics they use to measure performance and whether they give feedback informally, formally, or both. You can confidently navigate your first week with a few relatively simple actions. Start out with a big smile and an elevator pitch to help you meet your coworkers. Then, get organized to set yourself up for success. Plan to take notes and advice from friendly teammates and even consider a mentor. By observing and asking questions, you'll soon have a firm grasp on company culture that will allow you to feel prepared for a final end-of-week check-in with your manager. 
Remember, you got this job for a reason. You're up to the challenge. With all the tools you need to shine in place, you're on your way to getting the job done.